used to be that anybody with a computer can create art. Uh, with the programs and the te technology the way it is, um, it's made it really easy to, to create art. Um, a lot of times I can't compete with that. Uh, um, it seems anybody can just pick up a computer and, and make a piece of art and charge whatever they want for it. Uh, the good side to it is that uh, I've developed access to areas and places uh, globally where I, I never would have had without the, without the advent of computer or the internet. Uh, which is, does Facebook take away from the actual physical art being done and make me the focus of, of, uh, of my art rather than the art itself? And I haven't given that a lot of thought, but realistically, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, it, it doesn't make a lot of difference. I, I think that things like Facebook are, are a good, can be a good thing for artists if, if used that way. You can be the most productive artist, traditional artist in the world, you can, but you can sit in your basement and paint and draw and never ever make them accessible to to the public, either either in books, either in hard copy, either in shows actually physically go to shoes, or on the internet, or on Facebook, or any of those things. And if you don't do that, um, number one, you won't be able to make a living because you have to sell art. And I think that's the reason for those things: is to be able to sell art, and the proceeds from that allow you to pay your bills and create more art. At least in my case, that's how I feel. Um, the real meaning to do art is just to be able to do it. I mean, if I could sit in the basement and never show it to anybody, I, I don't think it would make a whole lot of difference to me. Part of it is ego, so maybe it would. I, I really don't know. But with, without having the access to let other people see your art, no, you'll die nobody will know ever what you did, who you were, um, the art that you did, or why you even did art. So. Um, I think it's important to get it out there.